Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing to you my makeup collection, my updated makeup collection slash organization. So I'm going to go through my vanity with you guys and share with you all of the makeup that I currently have. Anytime I get new makeup, I make it a point to get rid of something from my collection just because I get a ton of makeup in PR. And I'm not gonna lie, I also love purchasing makeup and anything that has to do with beauty. You guys know I love hygiene products, skincare, makeup. If you haven't seen my apartment tour, definitely recommend watching that. I have an oversized living room, so my vanity and all of my makeup actually live in my living room. I'm lucky enough to have like a living room space and then I have my filming slash workspace, which is where I get ready when I do my makeup. In previous makeup collection videos, I've gotten comments like, why are you bragging about how much makeup you have? Or who needs that much makeup or that such waste? And trust me, I get it. It's abnormal to have this amount of makeup. I am a freelance makeup artist, so a lot of the makeup that I keep, I just keep in case a client and request a look as well as for myself to experiment and try different brands out so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so this is an overview of my vanity i'm going to quickly go through where everything's from before actually getting into the makeup collection so the actual vanity mirror with the light bulbs that is an impressions vanity mirror of course i'll have the exact name of the one that i have i believe it's the glam pro i don't have the base on it i just have it mounted onto the wall so that i can have more space and then i still am using Using the IKEA Alex drawer system I just really love how it looks I do have a ton of my makeup exposed on the actual vanity but I still like to conceal and kind of hide the rest of the collection the tabletop is also from IKEA and then these two are also Alex drawers so these are the traditional tall Alex 9 drawers and then I have the smaller ones the tabletop isn't connected to the smaller IKEA Alex drawers it's just basically sitting on top and my uncle actually cut this IKEA table for me so this is the long of the tables but originally it came out way too far out it kind of looked like a dining table so he actually cut it so that it wasn't as wide so it's long but not too wide which is exactly what I wanted because I like to have that tabletop space for when I'm getting ready or when I'm doing my clients I get a ton of questions on this mirror because it's like the perfect height so I don't actually use my impressions vanity to do my makeup just because it's a little bit far for me so I do use this mirror and it is called a vanity it actually has a built-in fan I've had it for years. I don't really use it for the fan purposes, but I do use it to do my makeup every single time. Also, it has a magnified side, so I use that to tweeze my brows and all that good stuff. This beautiful chair was a gift for my mom, and it is from Wayfair. And then underneath, I just have a small trash can from Simple Human. So all of the white drawers and tabletop are all from Ikea. Hi, I'm filming this with my smaller camera just because it's a lot easier to hold. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. It's way more convenient. I could use my big boy camera with my big lens, but it's just way too heavy. So let's go ahead and get into the goods. So this is what I see when I sit down to do my makeup. And I honestly love the way I have this set up. It's just very convenient. So on the left here, I have my favorite brushes, the ones that I use on myself. If you've watched any of my videos you can probably guess my favorite brushes that I keep on rotation I love Smith Cosmetics I love Refer, MAC, Morphe, Real Techniques, Wayne Goss wow a pair of lashes I guess these lashes fell over here I was actually looking for these today I'm pretty sure I had them up here and they just fell onto my brushes so I'm gonna put these somewhere I have found lashes in the weirdest spots including Coco my dog let me know what's the weirdest place you found your lashes that was definitely a weird one though like on my brushes right there hidden but this is where I keep my main ride or die brushes my favorite ones this acrylic holder is from Luxbox and it fits quite a lot of brushes so these two organizers are from original beauty box and i really do like them they hold a ton on top here i have this acrylic organizer that holds all of my mac studio fix powders i used to have it this way but i really feel like this looks better and it just keeps this area clean this is where the lashes are supposed to go and then of course i have my mel cosmetics dark matter stack right in the front because i use that every single time i do my makeup i like cannot live without the shade blur in that stack and this little caboodle situation that I have going on here. I really wanted to get rid of this and just have all of this inside of the containers, but this is so handy and so convenient for me. So pretty much this is like my essentials. I have like tweezers, a lash applicator, scissors, some primers, some go-to foundations, eye drops, eyelash glue. So I just feel like it's so convenient to have everything here nice and organized and easy reach. So I just have like a face oil, my moisturizer. Let's start with this left jar. This is where 
I keep my lip liners and my eyeliners. So like my daily use pencils. So I have, of course, Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. You know it's real when I have two of them side by side. Same color, just for me, just because I'm extra <laughs> like that. And just, you know, like my go-to lip liners, my black eyeliner, brown eyeliner, the only liquid eyeliner I could use, which is from Physicians Formula, and just an array of different like nudes and just lip liners that I like to keep on rotation, some eyebrow pencils. They fit perfectly in there because they are smaller. This next drawer holds some of my favorite loose shimmers and loose glitters, pressed pigments, and anything that has to do with like an eyeshadow or glitter that I use pretty often. So obviously like the neutral shades, the golds. You guys know I love these Ars Couture ones, the Kaja ones, these NARS are really nice, pressed pigments, and then just like a random sharpener. This one keeps my brow products, and what's nice about this original beauty box is that it actually comes with the dividers you can take them out but for some of the jars I keep them in so here I just have my clear brow gel some tinted brow gel and my brow pencils some mascaras lower lash mascara and eye primers so these are my personal lippies I have my lip glosses on the right and my lipsticks on the left Mac I have some artist couture Shell Tilbury KKW of course I have to have my NYX London Fenty you already know one of my favorite lip glosses ever Lately, I've been obsessed with this Buxom lip gloss called Dylan. Really, really pretty. So this is my personal lippy drawer. And of course, all nudes. This one holds my primers and my face powders. These are my loose powders. Dermablend, La Mercier, Banana Ben Nye. Some more powders. Pretty much, I just keep these three on rotation. I have my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder. This KKW Burning Powder in number three. Love that. A facial razor, some lip exfoliator, and a Dior lip glow oil. So that's what I keep on the left side. So on the right, this first drawer holds my concealers. So I have my Ride or Die Concealers Tarte Shape Tape. I have these from Cosas, NARS, and some Hourglass Concealers, and some random MAC shadows. So I have a white, a black, a brown, and a like shimmery off-white shade, and of course, uninterrupted, which they no longer sell in this larger packaging they now have it in these like smaller containers but this is my og uninterrupted and it's still going strong thank you very much so that's that first drawer here we have my bronzers you already know give me sun and dark golden right up at the front vip baby because these are my most used this dior palette bomb hula by benefit of course bobby brown golden light and just some different bronzers because i like to have variety but you already know I always go for the same ones. Here are my most used blushes. Of course, my MAC blushes. Again, I'm such a creature of habit. Like, this is what I know works for me. So, I love me some peaches, some modern mandarin, some desert rose. These are just, like, my go-to. I can just always depend on MAC blushes. So, that's why I keep them at the front. Ready for war. Ready for the face beat and the face paint. So, I definitely keep these up at the front for a reason. I have some Charlotte Tilbury blush. This Dior blush, which is my new obsession. You know I had to put... Fuego Flush by Fenty in the main arsenal because it is such a gorgeous blush. And then the next two drawers are all highlights. And when I'm telling you, these drawers used to be full. Like, I wouldn't even be able to take something out. So what I like to do now when it comes to organization is to have everything leveled. So one level. So I don't really like to stack things like this because chances are when you're doing your makeup or just with anything, you're not going to go ahead and reach for this as much as you're going to reach for this. So I like to keep everything kind of just single layered so I know exactly what I have and I'm more likely to say, oh look, my Laura Geller highlight back here. Let me use that instead of just going for what's on top. I do stack some things. So like right here, I do have a little stack but it's just two products and I already kind of memorized what I have here so I still use let's say like this MAC highlight so the key for me is to minimize any stacking but I do make some exceptions so I just have some loose highlights and just like my favorite go-to highlights in these two drawers and I'm always going through these because I feel like I collect highlights and I hoarder them and then I don't actually use them I feel like I know which ones work for me and my skin tone and my skin type so I'm always always going through my highlights and just eliminating eliminating some because I had way too many before. I'm telling you, I had literally products just like stuffed in every single corner and it just wasn't working for me. So now I have minimized them and I still feel like I can go through and eliminate a few more. So those are all of the items that live on top of my vanity. Now let's go ahead and get into these drawers. So with these drawers, some of them don't have makeup, but I'm still going to show you what they have inside just because I feel like it's weird if I don't. So this first drawer isn't makeup. It's actually my sunglasses. I get a ton of questions 
questions on this organizer and I'm so so sad because they no longer carry it it's from Amazon and I just can't find a good link for you guys it just says it's unavailable but you can probably find something similar I remember just searching like sunglass organizer for drawers so I love that I get to keep my cases on the side and literally just fits perfectly I feel like this was like made for this Ikea Alex jar and now that it's summertime I want to do a sunglass try on or like collection video where I just try on all of my sunglasses I don't have too many but I still want to try them on for you guys just so you can see the different styles so that is a video that I want to film this week this next jar holds my lashes these are all of my false lashes every time I open this jar I feel like people just tell me oh my god that's so many lashes but to be honest I always feel like I need more so if you're a freelancer you could relate but lashes fly like no other it's the one thing that I kind of hate restocking because lashes are expensive so on the right here I have some Ardell lashes but my favorite lashes especially for clients or like bridal are these velour lashes I am obsessed with velour lashes they're just such high quality these are kind of like smaller ones but I just love me a good mink lash a good luxury lash and I also have an obsessed with salon perfect lashes like these these are 672 I have 672, 671, so love me a good full lash, but I also keep some, some baby lashes more for like an everyday look. Remember when I only used to wear Demi Wispies? Now I put these on and I'm like, I need another lash on top. I'm so obsessed with thick lashes that I tend to gravitate more for like the doubles now. I know. I started off with the babies, started from the bottom, now we're here. No, actually, now we're here. I really do just love me a bold lash. So a lot of these lashes I keep just for like backup, for like emergency client visits. You never want to be out of lashes. That's just a no-go. So that is my lash drawer. This is where I keep all of my hair supplies. So my scrunchies, aka hair ties. Well, it's hair ties, aka scrunchies. I call them scrunchies. Some people call these bobos, but I call them scrunchies. And I just have my combs and my brushes and my hair clips, and my bobby pins and all that jazz. Anything that has to do with like hair. Not that I style my hair too often, but I'm always using my tangle teasers to style my hair. And these two last ones hold tanning products. So this is more of like my glow drawer. This is where I hold all of like my body glow products. Anything that has to do with like an oil. This should be called the JLo drawer. I have not been using any of these products. I don't know if it's because we're not going out really, but I just find it so unnecessary to like slather myself in oil to go nowhere. My legs have not been shining as much, which makes me sad. But one of these days, I'm going to just go off and use my like Fenty and my Sol de Janeiro oils all up on my body because I want to look like a glowing goddess again. Sad because I haven't really opened up this jar in a while and this one even less. So I have Loving Tan, Saint Tropez, some L'Oreal and some Mitts. After visiting Florida for two weeks, I don't really need tanning products right now. I do have a lot of color but just in case if I ever need some sunless tanner, I got some. So when I'm sitting down to do my makeup or if I'm doing a client's makeup, I love keeping my go-to palettes right next to me just because it's easier that way. So we have Supreme Nudes from Artist Couture, my Anastasia Brow Pro Palette, some MAC blushes, this Alamar Blush Trio. Y'all need this. Okay, I'm gonna put you on right now. This shade right here, Scorcher on the right, mixed with Castaway. I mean, you can honestly mix all three, but these two orange shades, Y'all, it's fire, it's fuego. This is the Fair Light palette, and I'm telling you guys, this Colorete Blush Trio. I'm gonna need another one because every time I use this, I'm like, I don't need any other blush. This is just like the perfect topper. Y'all know I like to layer my makeup, so if I really want to feel like that, you know what? I go in with these two palettes. This one is also fire. This is the Brighton and Bronze, and I like to use that yellow shade called I'm Woke. And honey, they just, they do something to me. Y'all already know how I feel about this Natasha Denona palette. I mean, it's beat up and tore up because I actually use this every single time I do my makeup. Safari palette, all matte. Love these two palettes. I've had this Tarte Magnetic palette for a while, but I recently put in my Cosette shadows. This shadow is like the blackest black you'll ever have. I think it's called Jet. It honestly looks like an empty space. That's how black it is. In certain lighting, you can't even tell that there's a shadow there. And these shimmers are amazing. They're beautiful and they shine so bright. They just look so basic right here, but I'm telling you guys, I'm putting y'all on. So I keep my Dose of Colors concealers here because I do have quite a few and just some chunkier concealers that don't fit in that skin 
skinny top drawer. So while I'm sitting, I can just open up this drawer and grab something, which is really, really convenient. I don't really use too many primers, but if I do use one, it's pretty much always the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Amazing. Some glow products, Marc Jacobs, Charlotte Tilbury, Farsali. I need to do like a products I regret buying video soon because I just have like these random expensive products that I thought I would love and I never reach for. And take a shot every time I say this is my favorite drawer, but seriously, this is one of my favorite drawers. This holds some of my foundations and this organizer that I have here is also from Sani Cosmetics. Of course, links will be listed. Y'all already know I don't play with my links. I got you. One of my favorite foundations is actually from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. So I have a few shades of that. Estee Lauder Double Wear. Definitely an OG for me. I've used it for years and I still do use it. The NARS Sheer Glow Foundation as well as the All Day Luminous. I keep these for my clients. This is what I use on my clients, the NARS foundations. I feel like their shades are really good and they just look really beautiful on the skin. I personally can't use them because they break me out. Almost every foundation breaks me out, but I love, love, love the NARS ones for my kit, for my clients. An oldie but a goodie, Lancome, 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 wow! Lancome Taint Idol Ultra and then some random foundations back there So I just really love having all of my foundations organized and displayed like this because it makes it so much easier to use This one is also so aesthetically pleasing to me Normally I would say that this Giorgio Armani would have to go because I would have to put another Smashbox foundation there to keep the OCD flow going But it's okay. It's organized enough and I'm happy with how this looks These are all the Smashbox Studio Skin foundations and then I have the Natasha Denona Foundation X back here, which I love the white caps. I will be honest though, I don't use these as often as I should. I should be testing these out more. I'm just so scared of testing anything out on my clients because I need them to look their best and I cannot take any chances. So that's why I go with like my trusty foundations that I keep in here. But I like to have a variety of shades and finishes. And then back there, I have these little Estee Lauder Double Wear samples, like deluxe samples that I got, I think at an event. Or maybe they sent this in PR but these are perfect for a kit or for traveling so shout out to Estee Lauder for sending those and then this next drawer is my favorite are you ready I'm kidding it's actually empty this is growth okay this is Rosita 2020 no need for extra products just sitting around I feel like because it's a lower drawer I don't use it as often I don't open it up as often so I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna do but I do have a Sony cosmetics organizer in here just chilling waiting to be loved and to be used you don't have to use these for makeup you can use them for anything but an empty drawer Shocking, I know. I actually get a ton of questions on this speaker. This is a Bose SoundLink speaker. I love it. I'm team Bose all the way. My dad likes to call it Bose, so Bose all day, every day. I keep my beauty blenders in this container from Amazon. I love to kind of hide the colorful ones with the black ones, but I didn't do such a good job this time. But I remember Angie finessed it once and it looked fire, so I'm gonna need her to come finesse this. I just love how it looks when it's all black and white. To the right, I have this other Sony Cosmetics organizer and this is where I keep some skincare. I'll do my toner here and my moisturizer and stuff because I do have some skincare in here. So I have my ride or die poly choice y'all already know a must-have for me game changer this pharmacy honeymoon glow AHA night serum I got rid of a ton of setting sprays but I pretty much only use a few now if I even remember to use setting spray these days so the Morphe of course up at the forefront this is like my go-to if I had to repurchase just one for the rest of my life it would be the Morphe one but I also have this new one for makeup forever as well as this new one from hourglass fix plus of course, a must-have. I feel like this should go here, maybe. This is how indecisive I am. I'll literally just like play around with arrangement just to see what makes me feel better. And then just like a bunch of random sprays. I'm not using these as often as I thought I would, but I definitely condensed this because I had way more. So I'm kind of proud of myself that I only have this. And then back here I keep my hand sanitizer from Zhao. I love this stuff, it smells like heaven. And I love that it has a pump. So just like some hand sanitizer and some hand lotion for when I'm doing my makeup or client's makeup. And these Ikea jars have this marble contact paper that my dad put on for me from Amazon because we attempted to paint the drawer and that was a fail. .org.net. So we had to fix it with some contact paper and it worked out perfectly. I really like how it looks. It's easy to clean. It's been a year and I don't have any like lifting or any problems with it. This table needs some contact paper because it's getting a ton of nicks and scratches. But I'll probably do like a white wood on this one because the shiny I don't really like for all over. I'll probably just do like a plain.
plain white matte contact paper there. So let's get into these drawers. This first one has all of my extra eyeshadow palettes that are neutral. Just a ton of eyeshadow palettes that I can't let go of just yet. I'm constantly going through this drawer because I feel like I don't really use all of these eyeshadow palettes. So I'm always, always purging these and just trying to get rid of some. It's just too much and I'd rather someone else enjoy a palette rather than it just like sitting here collecting dust. I'm always going through the palette drawers especially because those can get full pretty quickly. This next one's quite random. It holds some tools, some eyebrow products, glitters, spoolies, and a ton of eyelash glues. Y'all, when I'm telling you, I've tried every eyelash glue, you name it, I've ordered it. So when I was struggling to find a glue that I could use on myself because I was getting allergic reactions to everything, I literally went ahead and ordered every glue that ever existed. I swear, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, all of these I purchased from Amazon, from natural websites that sell like organic makeup. I've tried it all. Keep this from memory because the struggle is really real when it comes to my sensitive eyes. So if you are like me and you have a ton of allergies, try the Duo White and Green. I'm telling you, it's the bomb. These acrylic organizers are from the container store. They don't fit as perfectly in the jars. I mean, but they do the job and no complaints. This is what I used to use before Sony Cosmetics. So I just keep these here because it's not bothering me or anyone. This Next one's pretty cool. This is where I keep all of like my gel liners and my individual like ColourPop shadows and just any individual shadow that I don't keep for like daily use. But I always go in here and just try to eliminate some. Again, it's like a process when it comes to trying to not hoard. I have like an attachment to my makeup, especially if it was sent in PR. Well, actually no, even if I purchase it myself, it's like I don't wanna throw away my money, but Sometimes you just really gotta go through and purge. Okay, this jar holds my eyeliners. I love having a ton of just different colorful liners. I recently went through this and I had like 20 blue liners that looked identical. So I did purge a few. This was literally up to the brim in eyeliners before. So progress, progress. Some cream shadows, mascara. These are the Natasha Denona top coats and then some Huda Beauty colorful liners. I really like how this one looks. I do love me some neutrals, but I really love how colorful this one is. You're about to take a shot because I'm about to tell you that this is one of my favorite drawers. I get so excited with this one. This is my lipstick heaven. The organizer is also, again, you guessed it, Sunny Cosmetics. I love her. They're just so bomb. Like, I can see every single lipstick. Imagine if all of these were just like layered on top of each other. I wouldn't know what's what. So I do keep my lipsticks upside down. I get a ton of questions on this. I personally don't have any issues when storing my lipsticks like this, like they're all perfectly fine. I know some people say that there's mess up when they store them upside down, but it's so much easier for me to read the label. I don't really like the clear lipstick cap situation. I feel like you really still can't see the color and I just don't really like how it looks personally. So this works for me. I love these Huda ones because she was smart and she put the color on the cap and it's just like bomb. I love that. These Smashbox ones too do that. I just love having the color obvious so that I know like, okay, I'm reaching for like a muted, rosy nudie pink or this red shade. I just love having the color on the cap, but I would never get rid of my MAC lipsticks. And I don't really think I'm ever going to depot them. I just love having them here like this. It just works for me. And technically I'm like a collector when it comes to makeup. So I have MAC Selena. I have the MAC Aladdin collection, Patrick Star. I'll keep colors that I know I'll use. <laughs> Except this one, this one's a mistake. We got some Morphe, some Tom Ford, YSL, Givenchy. So this is my little lipstick heaven. And then next, I have my extra lip glosses. And again, growth, because normal rose would have this filled to the brim. Like I would have all of these spots taken just because, just because. I mean, I do get sent a lot of makeup and I probably could fill all of these spots, but I don't feel like I have to. These are all colors that I know I can reach for and I know I have. So a lot of them are nudes for my clients. I do a lot of like bridal makeup and a lot of my clients ask for neutral lip colors. So that's why I have a plethora of nudes, but I also do have some reds and some burgundy these just in case. This personalized case from Makeup Forever just holds some lip liners and some eyeliners, which is like perfect for freelancing. I actually took some out and that's how I discovered Anywhere Caffeine. So thank you Makeup Forever for that. So when I do a client's makeup, I like to gift them a lipstick to go. So this is where I keep my little extras. Sometimes I'll give them like a setting spray or just like a little 
gift. It doesn't make sense to keep all my makeup. So if you've ever gotten your makeup done by me, I'm always in this jar trying to find like gifts. And obviously it's all like new products, not used items. But I'll always give my client a nude lipstick that they can touch up with or whatever color they're wearing. If they, you know, chose to get their lips done in like a red shade, I'll give them a like deluxe sample of like a NARS lipstick. And again, they're new, so my clients don't have to worry about like them being used. But I like to just give them something so that they could go home with. Um, whether it's like a little blush, a setting spray. So anytime I get a PR package, I'll try to put some nudes in here so that when I'm freelancing, I can go in this drawer and know that I have a shade that's pretty similar or exact to the shade that I used on them. Here I keep some extra lip liners that are like more on the colorful side, not nudes. Some of them are nude, but just like, you know, your reds and your burgundies. So I know those are in there. So I know I said up there that I don't have too many setting sprays and it's true, I really don't, but these are the backups to those. So I pretty much have backups of like my favorite ones. Makeup Forever, Believe, MAC, Morphe, Urban Decay, Fresh. These are like the backups of the sprays. <laughs> Normally when my family comes over, I like to like get them some body care. So I like to stock this jar up with some body care and so some shower gels and some body lotion so any sample of perfume that I get that I like I put it in this little pouch just to try to discover some new scents it is so hot and I can't put my AC on because it's so loud so I'm gonna need you to give me a thumbs up right now because your girl is melting so here's where I keep the neutral eye palettes and then right next door I have my face palettes this one needs some purging too because I feel like I'm definitely not using all of these face palettes so like foundation palettes contour palettes cream bronzer, the rest of the Alamar face collection, some Charlotte Tilbury. Because these live here, it's harder for me to use them when I'm sitting and doing my makeup. So I have to remember before doing my makeup to grab something out of these drawers and bring it over to my vanity so that I could use it. I'm gonna start doing that pretty much like shopping my collection because I really only go in here when I'm doing like client makeup because I'm standing. I keep this benefit mirror here to show my clients their makeup. I just love that it's pink. Even though it's like busted, I still keep it because I'm never gonna get rid of it. Take a shot. I love all of my drawers, but this one really makes me feel like, okay, Rose, you are an organized queen. This is just like heaven to me. I love how this looks. It literally feels like I'm shopping when I go in here. I keep my Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I am obsessed with these concealers for spot concealing, for under the eyes, for bronzing, for contouring. I literally can't say enough good things about these. Very, very hydrating. So if you feel like the Tarte Shape Tape is just way too dry for you, but you like the coverage, Born This Way and the Doe Foot is bomb. Some e.l.f. concealer, some Hourglass Huda. I love this little section here. These are the YSL Touche Eclat pens. I think these are like the Radiant pens. And then to the left, I have the Jouer. I think these are like contour pencils. I still have to play around with these. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't used them yet, but <laughs> I plan on it. So they have all types of shades. I can pretty much use it to contour or to brighten or conceal. And then some more concealers there. Again, the organizers are Sunny Cosmetics. And these are my favorite because they just display your makeup instead of just storing it. If you love how it looks and you can see what you have, you're gonna wanna use it more often. So love that. This one isn't my favorite aesthetically just because it's it's a lot there's like colorful white and also these like black compacts but that's okay I mean the purpose is not to look nice it's to actually be useful so I have the physicians formula butter bronzers I have some more of the Fenty cream blushes this is how you know I have a problem I completely forgot I bought this blush from Chanel I'm gonna have to use this I think I stopped using it because it was too light on me I got it because of somebody I was like influenced by someone to buy it which I feel like happens a lot I'm influenced to buy something from someone online and then it ends up not working for me which I feel like is not the case when I tell you guys about something because I really like have to love something before I mention it to you but this color elegance pretty sure was too light for me which is why it lives here and it doesn't live here so she's just chilling here cue the new york background noise so yeah just some extra pressed powders bronzers and all that good stuff organizer sunny cosmetics <laughs> take a shot for me because this one Loki, another favorite of mine. Just because of the aesthetic, I love it when I have multiples of the same product just because I think it looks really, really pretty. These are some of my favorite bronzers for my clients. These are the Fenty Beauty bronzers. I really love this shade specifically, Bajan Gyal. Really gorgeous on the skin, a nice finish and a beautiful color. So I love having those here. I have some Estee Lauder bronzers, some Huda Cream bronzers, just a light little flex, you know, a little Givenchy in the front. Honestly, I don't use these enough. I have to reach 
for these more often because they were pricey and I bought those and never really used them. So I gotta reach for those more. Next we have more loose powders and these are just like different shades. I have like a pink one. These Huda ones I really love for my clients. They're too perfumed for me, but Banana Bread is one of my most used shades for my clients. Jaclyn Hill powder, milk makeup. The Sacha Buttercup powder, high key. For your kit really really nice i actually need to get another one because i'm kind of running low on mine i feel like because i look at this i forget that i have some back there that i have to purge a bit more i like using the word purge but it kind of reminds me of the movie and this guy we have skincare so these are all of my moisturizers i know it's a lot. The CEO by Sunday Riley is one of my favorites. I have like a double of the milk makeup, a double of this pharmacy that I really like, the Daily Greens. I also keep eye creams in here, so I know it seems like a lot because it is, but it's just two layers. Just two layers. But I just keep eye creams and just like backups and different brands like Belief. But I pretty much like know what I have here because I'm very picky when it comes to my skincare. So I know which brands work for me and don't break me out. Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream. Love that. As well as the Shiseido. The Skinergy Skin Guardian Moisturizer by my girl Priscilla. So those are all moisturizers. Sticking with skincare right underneath, I have all of my toners and my like treatments, cleansers, oils, concentrates, pretty much just like anything that has to do with like a treatment or a serum. Clearly I love this Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum because I have three of them. And I have some Le Mer in here, Pharmacy, Lancome, Estee Lauder, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley, love that. I love the Kate Somerville Exfoliate line. And then some like Tatcha and just like some random cleansers and treatments. This drawer holds my masks. I went through this recently and I got rid of a ton, but I still have a ton to go through. Love this Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. This one's also one of my favorites, Ole Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. Really, really helps with pore size and just like texture, which is what I suffer from. I have this one from Kiehl's, which I love. The Rare Earth. I just have a ton of masks. Glam Glow, the OG Glam Glow. This is like OG, oh, used to be my favorite. I still really love it. I just use it more like a spot treatment. I have like three of these Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Cleansing Balms because I have been using this to remove my makeup and I love it so much more than a wipe. Anytime I use a cleansing balm and then a cleanser, my skin just thanks me. And then this last jar has some um, body care. So just some um, body creams that are kind of jumbo. This one is really pretty. I love the color of the lotion itself. Some extra cleansers and then just like some random body care stuff like bump gel, and foot cream and 10 skin so just like kind of like a random body care drawer this third ikea alex drawer makeup wipes even though i don't really use these to remove my makeup i still do sometimes if it's really late and i'm super lazy i will use a makeup wipe but mainly i use makeup wipes now to remove like eyeshadow excess or just like swatches from my hand so i just have some makeup wipes some extreme lash adhesive for lash extensions. I recently purchased all of this because my lash tech in Miami uses extreme on me, the Flex Fusion specifically, and I don't get reactions. So I went ahead and purchased my own so that I can bring to any lash tech that I go to here in New York because pretty much I've tried every lash extension glue they all irritate me except this one. So I love using these Pixi Glow Tonic to go on my clients. This really exfoliates their face right before makeup and it just leaves a really nice smooth canvas, especially if they haven't exfoliated before the appointment. Next, I have this random drawer and this holds my colorful palettes. So like these neon palettes and just some colorful palettes. This one from BH, the Morphe one. I have this MAC Boombox kind of palette, which I can't get rid of. I just love how it looks, but I don't really use it. So Urban Decay Wired. I don't really like having these three up front because they don't really belong here. Like the Color Switch by Veramona, these Makeup Forever powders, and this Tatcha Primer. But I don't really know where to put these where they belong. So like where my primers are, this doesn't really fit. So I kind of have to figure out how to house these better. But for now, they sit in there. This next one's out of place a little bit too. These are more primers. So I have the Fenty primers that are quite large. So they really only work laying down in the Ikea jars. They don't work standing up. Some Laura Mercier primers, more primers. These are don't really use that often, but 
I kind of want to like test that a little more. Like I mentioned before, I don't really use too much primer. This is really great for dry skin, the Hourglass Number 28 Primer Serum. Super hydrating. It's kind of like an oil and a serum in one. This next one is quite random and quite empty. It's not makeup, but I just have my flat iron here. This is the Bioionic 10 times flat iron. I love it. Just keep it here for like quick, easy access. I keep all of my other tools, hot tools, in another closet, but I just pretty much keep this one on hand. Microphone, some extra lenses and it's just like random tech accessories and then this next one is also tech accessories and these are all of my cables i find this so funny why i have so many of these cables these like random micro usbs i just get so many different little gadgets and just appliances and things and they always come with these random cables and i keep them when i first moved into this apartment i said i would only have new cables like i didn't want any dingy dirty dusty old crusty cables but i still have three here and then the longer ones which i love the two meter ones external hard drive and some extra batteries this one is also a tech drawer this also just has my camera battery chargers some external batteries so like power banks for my iphone this little mini light a waterproof speaker for when i travel these next two drawers hold my backups so these are the backups for my lip products and eye products i'm always in this drawer like replacing something in my main drawers obviously i always have to have fancy gloss <laughs> backups on deck just some shades of like lipsticks that i'm always repurchasing or just going through constantly brow gel lip balms and all that good stuff and then backups of my face products so these are all extras so things that i already own but i have a backup of so some concealers over here primers powders pressed powders foundations loose powders and more concealer so these are all backups and last but not least my one crazy just random drawer with literally just like random things like medicinal things i don't know i have like vitamin e oil q-tips lash clean cleaner, eye cleaner, some teeth whitening strips, I use the Crest, always the advanced ones, Clarisonic things, I literally own like two nail polishes because I really don't paint my own nails, some jade rollers, a gua sha, and my screen cleansing toilettes, but yeah, just pretty much like a random drawer full of, I would call them doodads, just that random drawer that you have to have, I feel like if you don't have one of those are you really living? Same storage as my last collection, but I've definitely tried to downsize and minimize. I know it still seems like I have a lot and I do, but trust me when I tell you I had even more and I still have more makeup coming in. So I'm always going through this, cleaning it and also organizing it and decluttering it. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.